good morning. This is Mais Talha. I'm an architect, engineer, and designer involved in environmental conservation in general. And leading a, a company in Malta, it's a startup. It's an innovation company for digital transformation and Internet of Things through design. The first idea of the project was brought uh, through the MPB. Uh, the first uh, thing was the locations and sites, mm -hmm. especially in a country like Malta. The other two approaches would be either the technology, which tourism includes virtual reality, and uh, there is lots of also projects worldwide in that direction, or the global business ideas that can be copied and replicated. Solution should be innovative and uh, should open more opportunities. Okay. Now, when the MPP suggested the, pro the project of tourism for the first idea uh, that came to my mind was uh, location and sites in Malta because we have very special uh, historical heritage in Malta. And uh, there, are, there are another two approaches, uh, which are the technology. When the tourism comes to include the virtual reality, mixed reality, it's widely globally used in different uh, sites. Also, we have the global business ideas that already implemented and succeeded, like the little chip uh, experience okay. in, in uh, restaurants. Okay, interesting. So, can you give some examples of IoT applications in tourism? Uh, the main application is, uh, is personalization. So, uh, if you want to book a room, you can add all your preferences, so it's customized. It's a very small detail that might seem minor. minor. Mm -hmm. But this uh, type of details uh, enrich the tourist experience and when you enjoy it, uh, when you are in the, in the locations, you will always reconsider revisiting. This applies to many hotels and even uh, restaurants. Okay. And the other example is when you want to save energy. And many hotels uh, now adjust the temperature of room automatically. Okay. So unless, unless the customer is readjusting, uh, the room temperature will be responding to the uh, natural temperature of, uh, of, let's say, 24 or 22, uh, unless okay. someone make it colder or hotter. Or Okay, so there, there is cost saving involved as well. Of course, it will be energy saving and okay. energy saving uh, reflects on cost saving and even in emissions reduction. Exactly, perfect. Um, what about using um, data, real-time data when it comes to IoT? Now, most solutions, uh, uh, including maintenance, they are either planned data or old data. Okay. Uh, for example, even ChatGPT, which is an IoT solution, it will tell you I, uh, my data is until 2021. <laughs> Okay. So, and unfortunately, for example, uh, even in ChatGPT, if you if you had uh, noticed that the quantity and the quality of answers changed after starting starting yes. learning mm -hmm. from average users, so uh, we want to uh, address that. Even if we want to have real life uh, real lifetime data, mm -hmm. it should be directed in 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 well planned direction that can serve a wider and a more profitable implementation okay. of uh, of the IoT systems. So, what, as an example of this, uh, when you enable choosing destinations, mm -hmm. when we started the project, we had the option of deciding how many destinations to choose. Uh, there was the option of one or more than one. Uh, as a designer, I know that if you want to create impact, you must give the person the opportunity to make a decision. Definitely. And that's why, uh, and also in Malta, we have the option of having uh, Malta, Gozo and Comino. Mm -hmm. So I was like, no, we will go for three options and we will give them the feeling that they can decide between the three islands. And when we went further a little bit in details in the project, uh, I made Malta focus on uh, on giving the night experience and the light experience when you look at the food. Mm -hmm. But when you look at uh, Gozo, you look at uh, food alternatives, and you know that even Gozitans are very proud of their <laughs> cuisine. Uh, while in Fumino, I had this uh, natural uh, caves uh, like uh, teasers. Okay. So uh, you can now any person who wants to choose between. <coughs> the night they life in Malta or they want to choose the, to explore uh, the traditions of Gozo and also there was lots of handicraft in the Gozo Puso or to use the the communal natural experience 
So they have this this feeling that I made a choice. Mm-hmm. So yet, at the same time, we are giving the Maltese tourism sector the ability to know which type of the tourism is the most attractive to do it. Now, as you know, uh, the project focus on uh, waste prevention through replacing uh, printed brochures with digital brochures. Now, uh, even if you have digital brochures online, usually they are not up to date, as exactly. you might find them from 2018 exactly. or even before. They would be outdated. So, uh, while some brochures might be beneficial, but it is still a little bit boring to mm-hmm. explore them. True. And uh, what we do is we create uh, an, uh, an, an interactive brochure that has mm-hmm. the, the ability to give the, uh, an instant information. Let's say that uh, uh, I was planning um, a trip to Comino. Mm-hmm. By, my time, by the time of my arrival, there was a rough sea. Exactly. And there is no ferries, not, neither from Gozo, neither from Malta. So simply, when I explore this option in the hotel, I will see it telling me on the brochure mm-hmm. rough sea exactly. and it, it can then suggest other give other. you alternative options exactly. to do on that day uh, okay. and these alternative options will also will plan based on the activities in going on, uh, on, on, an, on like a monthly basis it's okay. very really hard to adv- to 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 have it on daily basis. Yes, yes, of course. But for example, if someone is in July, the brochure that will show up, it will be more about uh, feast. Feast, like festivals, if there are any. Yeah. Okay. If Good. it is in uh, around November, it will be, for example, if we have some activities for... Uh, uh, in Valletta, usually there are a lot. Yes, but I forgot, I forgot the, the name. Of, there is the there is the pumpkins festival. <laughs> ah, Halloween. The Halloween. Yes, exactly. Yes, yes. <laughs> exactly. So you have these events that associated to to certain experiences. Okay. Okay. So you can always have it up to date and where it is happening. So it's not like even the tribe is a little bit different because uh, usually these experiences will show uh, based on the hotels that you are opening it from. Okay. So okay. Yeah, uh, so. If you are opening it from St. Julian, you will see options in St. Julian. Okay. If you are opening it from Valletta, you will see activities more in Valletta. Okay. So this Makes can sense. also localize the experience and cut the carbon footprint. Exactly. Because people will find it really interesting to explore where they are sitting. True, very true. Great, so apart from using IoT for real-time information, what do you think when it comes to security how does iot help in security for tourism smes now uh, security for for uh, for let's say for tourism for is as important as it is for all mm-hmm. other applications mm-hmm. on the online technologies uh, they must have this uh, end user data protection okay. they must have the high level privacy protection okay. Uh, not to, to not share the data. In some applications, not in terms of for another application, our company, I am even eliminating using the data cloud. Okay. So uh, we only uh, screen the data. Uh, we take uh, like uh, what information we need to okay. uh, uh, to use. We don't keep user data okay. at all. Okay. So there, there are no users need to sign that I need. I give permission okay. to use my data. Okay. I don't need the data. Okay. And in another initiative, it is uh, it is based on enabling uh, SMEs to um, uh, to use uh, their own emails. Okay. So they don't ask employees for personal okay. emails and personal data. So I think that. Uh, well, we can go one step farther when it comes to IoT. Okay. So we also need to keep give people space to re-embrace uh, the choice of not sharing the data. Okay. Because I what I experienced as a person who who lived mm-hmm. the transition from manual to exactly. digital, that you have sometimes no options. So even if I if even if I manage my my options, there's always a limitation to how much you can eliminate it from. Exactly. It. So. So, uh, so no, it's a crucial, it's important, and in Malta they have been too many intensives to support SMEs mm-hmm. in protecting data, and the tourism industry also is included. Okay. Uh, it's very crucial to choose the correct devices or even to design them to collect the needed data. Mm-hmm. So when it comes to uh, the affordability, uh, in the last five years, 
it's dramatically changed mm-hmm. because uh, Wi-Fi is everywhere. Mm-hmm. Uh, sensors are even in your uh, devices uh, mm-hmm. for measurements or any other options. Mm-hmm. And also you have uh, the availability of, uh, of, the, of the networks on the mm-hmm. mobiles. So with all these uh, information or with all these networks available, enabling IoT is way easier than mm-hmm. earlier. And uh, for example, in smart hotels, we have my to use the keyless uh, entry systems for occupancy sensors. In transportation, you can consider the GPS tracking, mm-hmm. the RFID, and also you can use the uh, NFC uh, for uh, ticketing uh, and passenger, passenger um, counting sensors. Even I saw this system using, used in uh, restaurants okay. to see how long an uh, a guest is staying, okay. how long an, uh, the order taking really takes in reality okay. and it will count everyone uh, who is standing for how long, who is okay. sitting for how long. I believe that there should be some privacy combined to okay. it, but it's already in use. So uh, when it comes to attractions, uh, there is a huge use, of use in the VR, AR reality. One of the applications in the future that you can visit a place without even leaving your country, mm-hmm. that you can uh, recreate it in a white room or a green room, or you can uh, wear the mask of virtual reality. Mm-hmm. So uh, there are uh, too many options coming, and for hotels and restaurants, we can enable data strategies that collect and analyze uh, life, uh, uh, life data. And this can also be related to many uh, sections, including housekeeping, uh, garbage shooters, mm-hmm. uh, restaurant room services that can be with uh, customized uh, robots. So there's lots of opportunities coming to IoT. Uh, MPITX is a design management company, but our focus is to enable Internet of Things from design starting point. We are already in, uh, in industry four, we are already in the digital twins industry and the mix between geometry and data and having solutions that enables uh, maintenance for buildings, for example, uh, in the past. But our current focus is only to use uh, innovation in the in digital design technologies to close different industry gaps. So at the minute, we have uh, several projects. The main project is IPX, which is a platform that enables uh, non-designers to make informed design decisions in the direction of interactive eco-design. And this is also combined to a certification system that is already following ISO uh, 2414, uh, zero waste certification system. And it's already started in the accreditation procedures in Malta. Uh, this uh, includes also uh, a very uh, strong direction in preventive maintenance er- and uh, preventive waste. Like we want to prevent waste from happening at the first place. Uh, many people are uh, taking serious actions toward emissions and energy. While uh, in our company we see overconsumption of energy or the produced uh, emissions as a symptom it's a result of consumption styles. And when you talk about uh, zero waste or IPX frameworks, they focus on uh, physical objects. So we are very focused at this stage on, uh, for example, in our project in Division 4, on paper uh, production and paper consumption through replacement of interesting uh, virtual reality solutions and interesting digital uh, crucial solutions. So this is as an example. And when it comes to our other solutions, we are taking part in a global project that's in fashion industry. So people are trying to try the outfits in the digital world. And we are having one outfit uh, in this uh, project. Uh, the other solution is called the Remimet, and it's an award uh, winning uh, project, which was also part of EIT Green Manufacturing in 2022. Uh, it's medication management system. So we are take, tackling uh, lifetime data for uh, medica- medicine uh, or med- medical intakes uh, and consumption time, consumption uh, style or, uh, or amount, and of course, consumption time. Uh, many problems occurs because someone doesn't have a real accurate 
uh, record of the medicine they are taking at this minute and uh, Raymed is a solution that can be used mainly for vulnerable patients who uh, cannot uh, uh, control their own medicine by, the, by themselves and also have no one uh, to, to help them in it especially that it's for elderly and sometimes for kids and this will enable active aging now uh, we have in total six projects uh, part of them are in-house projects and another part is uh, is like uh, the MPP projects with very interesting partners who has a global vision <laughs>